Yes. <laughs> Folks, my guest tonight is a medical contributor for CBS News and the co-chair of the Global Health Security Consortium. Please welcome Dr. David Agus. As I was explaining to the people before, thank you for being here. As I was explaining to the people before, um, you're a big deal in the whole knowing about COVID world. The people that I call or we call around here to find out what's going to be happening, they generally call you and they say this is what Agus said. So I thought it would be nice since we're getting all this new information this fall. We kind of thought we knew where we were going this summer. And then Delta came in and went, okay, Delta, we got to ride this out. It's going to be over by mid-October, early November. Then, you know, Omicron is showing up. I just want to get like a, a baseline reading for the world and COVID from you tonight, if that's possible. Got it. I can do that. Okay, good. Um, in the two years, we've seen 12 COVID variants. The newest is Omicron, as I said. Um, there's, a, there's a market in the media for grabbing our attention and making everything breaking news and Way you know much of a flaming Christmas yeah. trees. What <laughs> what do we actually know though about Omicron? Yes. So right now Delta is obviously here in the United States. 99% of cases, 119,000 people newly diagnosed today and 1600 deaths today from Delta variant in the United States. Now that's can't a, forget that's, about a, that. that's a level that we have not seen until no. late winter, early uh, spring of last year. Right, it's a perfect storm. We're COVID fatigued, it's colder, so people are going indoors. And these are mainly people unvaccinated in the ICUs. Over 90% of the people in the ICUs are unvaccinated. And so we have a problem in our country. We have not finished vaccination. Mm -hmm. So Omicron was uh, originally observed in Africa, mm -hmm. and it is a variant that is radically different. So over a million years of human evolution, our genome changed 1%. Over one day, this virus can change 1%, and it did. And so there are 40 different changes in the spike protein, so it's very different. And it did so, and it's in, in getting around some of the early vaccines, and that's what worried us. So this is tremendously infectious, almost twice as infectious as Delta. So on November 23rd, there was one case in South Africa, now it's over 90% of the cases in the country. That's in a matter of weeks. So it spreads like wildfire. And is it true that previous immu natural immunity from having had COVID is not applicable in this case, that it goes around that? Do so we know that? What we're seeing is, is that, yes, previous while ago COVID doesn't really help you with Omicron. And two shots of the vaccine probably doesn't help you that much with o Omicron. When that was anywhere from mid 80s to early 90s in terms of the eff eff efficacy to keeping you safe. Oh, 100 percent. So it all worked against cases, the other right? variants rem I mean, remarkably well. We got freaking lucky with these vaccines. They were awesome. There weren't real side effects and they protected serious illness almost everybody, which was really wild. But Omicron is going around it a little bit and that's what got us worried. OK, so Pfizer said that I think it was just today said that three shots protects you against Omicron. Yes, yeah, so that's really cool, right? A booster shot. You know, everyone says, well, the booster shot means the vaccines aren't great. Well, the virus changed, right? The vaccines were made for the original variant that was identified in Wuhan. And now we have a new virus, basically, because it really changed. But it's not a new vaccine, just more of it. Right. So a third shot, a booster shot, raises immunity 40 fold. And by doing that, you have enough immunity to fight off Omicron. The way I think of it is when you get this vaccine, there are 10 spots that you attack on that spike protein. Mm -hmm. Omicron lost seven of them. So you need a really high level to be able to get rid of it with those three spots. A booster shot gives that. That data from Pfizer, I was cheering this morning. It was great. Now, I'm a Moderna man. And uh, I'm sorry. And that's, that's right. That's what they had when I walked into the abandoned Kmart. They, they gave me the Moderna. You know, it was one of those places, you know. And does this apply to Moderna, too? Do we yeah. know that the third shot of Moderna or like a second shot of J&J, &J, do we know... Or do we mix and match at this point? We don't know, but it will. So, the, 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 so you the don't know, shot, but yes. Yes. So that's science, right? <laughs> yes. The, the spike protein is very similar in all of them, so we should see exactly that same result with the Moderna. The data just aren't available yet. Remember, South Africa, they gave Pfizer, so we, there was a lot of science done in South Africa, and they didn't have Moderna there. Moderna studies are ongoing now. They'll come out in the next few days. It will show also 
that. And then when you have an RNA booster with J&J, &J, you're also going to get that protection. So any of the boosters will give you protection right now, we think, from Omicron. Now, you used a term a moment ago that I've been hearing a lot, which is like, oh, there's a 25-fold or a 41-fold or a 75-fold increase or decrease. What is this fold? Because a year ago, they were just saying it was either 75% effective or 82 or 93. Why are we talking about folds now? Because when we kind of go into these numbers, it makes us look smarter. And that's kind of our <laughs> goal here. So what we're talking about is the amount of antibodies in the blood. So antibodies are the little proteins in the body that bind onto a virus and clear it away and you get about a 40-fold increase in the number of those molecules when you get that booster. Okay, does that, does that, what is, how did that translate into percentage effectiveness, which was the standard we were being told a year ago? Um, they're not really applicable to each other. The standard effectiveness before was about 90%, you wouldn't get sick, and right. if you did get sick, you weren't very sick. Right. With this booster, it's gonna be about the same. Okay, okay, good. Um, that's the good. We have to take a quick break. Uh, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Dr. David Agus.